In this video, we will teach you how to get started with your installation related to Selenium softwares. To begin with, we have some set of prerequisite sites for you to be ready with, without which we cannot make you to achieve to have all the softwares ready. There are three different prerequisite sites you should be ready with. Number one, you should have a good internet connection because you will be downloading a lot of required softwares as part of the process. Number two, you should have 4 plus GB RAM laptop because for Eclipse to run itself, it might require 1 plus GB depends on how you are using Eclipse. And third one, to be part of TestLeaf, you should be in a Google group through which you will have access to a lot of additional softwares make sure you have the access to the correct Google group so that you are given with all the required software in a single bundle. So as part of this video, you will be requested to download some set of softwares. Before that, you should have a good understanding what each software will help you with. The first required softwares are JDK, Eclipse, Maven Palm.xml, Browser Drivers and Selenium Server Jar. These are all minimum required softwares for us to get started with your day one. Let's take a deeper understanding what the software does. Number one, the Java Development Kit is a software provided by Sun Microsystem, later acquired by Oracle. And this software is a subset of say SDK. And if you like to write any Java program, JDK is a must. The softwares which are available as part of the JDK like compiler or the JRE or the JVM which resides inside the JRE or mandate for you to dollop, debug or run the Java applications. Now the question is, there are plenty of JDK available which one to download from. Now to begin with, the JDK comes in two format, 32-bit and 64-bit. So to begin with, in the upcoming portion of the video, we have shown you how to look for 32-bit or 64-bit installed in your machine. If at all it is already installed with 32-bit and with 1.8 or more, then you are good. You don't have to install again. But if in case you have a older version of JDK like 1.7, then it is required to upgrade to 1.8 so the preferred option would be uninstall them and install 1.8 the reason is simple selenium 3.x version onwards supports only 1.8 and above not the lower version so it is a good idea to uninstall 1.7 and install 1.8 given by us and by the way, we given only 1.8 32-bit and not 64-bit. The reason is simple. 32-bit softwares work both on 32-bit machine and 64-bit machine. Whereas 64-bit softwares only work with 64-bit machine. Hence, we provided only 32-bit. Even though you are in 64-bit JDK, 
we recommend you to uninstall and have 32 bit because the Eclipse that we are going to give is only 32 bit. So in sum, if you have a 32 bit JDK 1.8, then you are good. If you have anything other than 1.8 32 bit JDK, please uninstall. The steps to uninstall and install them is given in later part of the video for your reference. The next software that you require for you to develop Selenium programs will be Eclipse. Why do you need an Eclipse? Eclipse is IDE for Java programming. We understand that most of you will not have a very comfortable Java development experience. So if you have to write a good Java programs, it may not be comfortable when you write in a notepad or you write in a notepad plus plus so the best way you have to start writing would be in an preferred and good ide like eclipse the beauty of eclipse is open source and one of the most 
widely used Java IDE. So we would prefer you to have an Eclipse and preferably Mars version. Why Mars? There are plenty of different flavors of Eclipse available. We prefer you to have a Mars version which would be enough for you to get started with Selenium programs. Though you might have a latest version in the future, Mars is a good to start with. And it already have lot of required plugins for you to get started. Before you go and download, you might ask a question. Is it mandatory to use the Eclipse software given by Testleaf? The answer is yes. The reason is simple. We have already downloaded the plugins like TestNG or Maven or JIT and bundled them in the Eclipse provided by us. If in case you use your own Eclipse, which may be a different version of Eclipse, or if the Eclipse of 64 bit, it would work, but definitely you need to again install the additional softwares like TestNG or the Maven and the JIT required for you to become successful. We strongly recommend you to use the Mars software given by us. The next one you should be comfortable with is Maven Dependencies. As part of the program, we also give you POM.XML. Now let's take a quick look about Maven. Maven is a build automation tool, but we will not use presently Maven as a build automation tool until we travel to seventh week of our program. But however, you will require a lot of additional software you would require additional softwares other than Java and Eclipse like Selenium, Apache PY for Excel automation, or the MySQL jar files for your database connections and so on. Instead of you going and downloading them from an individual website and putting into your project, Maven dependency makes it so simple by saving it, it automatically downloads from the repository and put them on your local mission. So it is the best and preferred option for us.
The next one is the drivers. For you to communicate from Selenium to your Chrome browser or Edge or a Firefox, there is a requirement of a third party software to communicate with. These drivers or the communication protocol between the Selenium and the browsers mostly provided by the browser vendors itself like Chrome driver given by Google, Jekko driver given by Mozilla, Microsoft provides its driver, Safari driver given by Apple. So in this context we have already bundled the latest two drivers for you and put them into the drive which you can download from. And finally, the last software you would be getting as part of the bundle will be Selenium Server JAR file. This JAR file is required for you to run Selenium Grid as a standalone. This may be required in the future classes. However, it is mandatory you have to download as this is not part of Maven dependencies. So hence we have placed the latest and the best stable software into the drive which you can download this from. In addition to the existing softwares we also give you some additional Java videos. These videos are not developed by us but we picked some of the best Java videos from the internet which based on the best easy to understand and relevant for Selenium learning and we place them in the drive which would be good for you to get started. Similarly, we built our own Selenium videos and mostly they are of 2-4 to four minutes short videos and we place them on the TestLeaf YouTube channel. You can go and search for the TestLeaf channel in the YouTube and you can subscribe them and you can watch them as you like. And finally, we also given you some set of ebooks that would be good for you to get started with, like test ng books and some Java books for your references. These are all the best books available in the market. Just to make sure for you to get started, you should have the Google Drive access. If you have challenges with the Google Drive access, please reach out to our team 